Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Persona 3, and it is November 12th, and we are back in school, so we begin Om Varha Ranta Om. Today we'll be examining regional forms of magic. First up is India, one of the first places of magic. You may not think of India as an especially magical place, but it's precisely the opposite. If you think about it, esoteric Buddhist magic came from India. It was a definite influence on Gnosticism and the foundation of modern-day theosophy. It's said that Upanishads, a part of the Viridas, are the original books of magic. Many ancient Indians were passionate in their search of magic. These Indian magicians emerged uh, in similar circumstances as other places around the world. In India, it's traditional to lead a theosophist life, but eventually some people claim to have gained immense power through Tepesaya. At first, their claims were rejected, but they slowly gained power in numbers. Eventually, they were accepted into common practice. They are the Atesthesis, a mentioned in Appendishad. However, a normal human being wouldn't be able to mimic their skills. A Tafes Vin have surpassed the limitations of humanity. Do you think you could fast and pray for months at a time without eating or sleeping? You would die before attaining any powers. So it's understandable that the Buddha rejected such extreme asceticism. <laughs> of course, the Upanishads aren't all about such wild practices. They contain very practical methods too. Yoga, for instance, was also introduced in these scriptures. Are you still listening? No out-of-the-body projections now. E e e e e perhaps the test in order to see if you're listening. Get it wrong and I'll pile some extra bad karma on the Varha Renta Om. Who should I call on? How about you, Kangi? I ask of thee. What is the ancient Indian magical text I mentioned today? It is the Umpanishads. Um, um, oh, correct. I remember an honest life. Moving forward, yoga is full of variations. Some asanas are for health, while others are for prayer and worship. One important system of Hatha Yoga, the type for the yoga people are most familiar with today. In this yoga, one cultivates a healthy body to attain purity of mind. You gain the correct answer, your charm has increased. Perfect! So, uh, one of the more difficult, uh, difficult classes. That was pretty hard to read. But we're gonna hang out with Yukari today. Hey Kanye, are you, are you walking? Back by yourself, I'll come with you. It seems Yukari wants to walk home with you. Would you like to spend time with her? Except yeah. Great, let's go somewhere. Yukari seems excited. So, we do actually have a trip coming up soon. So I want to try to get to that. Also, the Palowina Mall Chico Cafe. So it just seems to have a coffee thing. We're not actually doing anything. Anyways, back to that. Uh, we have a trip. And also, I don't want to go to the Tartarus until... Uh, What's-her-face is back. Uh, Mitsuru. So, we are gonna go back to our room and make it to the next episode. Or the next day. So. And, let's see. Ooh. We're gonna go phone call. Hey, it's Yukari. Do you have a minute? Yeah. Hey, wanna do something next Sunday? Yes. Promise? Don't forget or I'll be mad. Yukari seems excited. So, she is at level 9. So, one more and we'll be able to actually see what, uh, would probably be dating with Yukari at that point. It will be the max level. So, we are going to continue through. Alright, so it's the next morning. On the 13th, it's a Friday, you overhear a conversation. The Kyoto trip is almost here. I don't care how much, I don't care much about shrines, but I'm still excited about it. Me too, I want to go see deers, deers, and deers. Just deers, huh? Wait, you're thinking of Nara. The first spell is wrong. Alright, so we're gonna move on. And it is the next day. Alright, uh, it's after school. Uh, we can't really do much, so class has ended for today. So we're just gonna head on back to the dorm and probably just progress to the next day. And I don't even really think I have to study. I think my stats, my, my academics are through the roof, actually. Let's see. We will look at my status. Uh, my academics are actually fully maxed out. So, we are going to continue through this. And hopefully Mitsuru is back. Hello, Junpei doesn't seem like his usual self, so I wonder why he's going to see Chidori-san. Hmm, maybe her persona went out of control. Alright, well, that's none of our business, so we're going to just go back and 
So it seems like Junpei is out of the picture and went to go see Chidori. We're gonna sleep earlier today, so because it doesn't actually matter if we study, because I'm a genius. All right, so it's the next day, a Saturday. We're still back in school. Uh, your condition improved because you've rested. Uh, I think I was feeling great already. So it is the morning. All right. Let's begin in today's lecture, shall we? Abi Haran Ken Basura O Debadavan. I'll be teaching today because maybe it's best you don't know. Anyways, it was a spur of the moment assignment, so I had to devise a lesson plan quickly. And the first thing that came to mind was this seminar on practical magic. For instance, breathing techniques. Some people would say it doesn't count, but breathing and magic are actually very closely related. That's because breathing affects more than your body. It influences your mind as well. An ancient Greek's word for breath was phenuma, and it was considered crucial in medical science of today of the day. Phenuma later came to refer to kindly spirits of the human in Gnostic Christianity. That was when breathing came to be recognized as a playing a crucial role in magic. There are many applications I could name. One breathing technique is an important factor in yoga. There are also exist a procedure called Ibuki in Shingo that revolves around breathing. From these examples, breathing techniques spread around the world through the influence of magic, but back to practical matters, let me show you something called Tan E or Tan E breathing. Some say Gautama Buddha himself practiced this method. It's a type of abdominal breathing in which you focus your energy on a point called Tian Tian. First, you must know where your Tian Tian is located. It's about three fingers wide beneath the navel. Why would such a place on your body be considered a special spot in a name like this? It's because the Tian Tian is where the most energy can be charged. Notice how if you send strength to the Tian Tian, you can't feel strength anywhere else in your body. The Tian Tian absorbs your body's strength, stabilizing your mind and body. Let's try doing some Tian Tian breathing now. If this is your first time, it may be a good idea to keep your hand on the Tian Tian to focus on your consciousness. Once you pinpoint your tantian, take a few breaths. Imagine that the air that you're pulling into your body is centered on the tantian. Then slowly and deeply breathe through your nose. Put some energy into the tantian until you can feel it harden and then breathe out. Repeat this process, but no one thing. If you're doing it correctly, you shouldn't be feeling any pain. Simply breathing deeply in and out shouldn't cause you pain. If, this, if that happens, there's something inhibiting your mind. You feel tired, which I just recommend you actually stay awake. Breathing methods work well in Tandian with the meditation, which is crucial for magicians. It's important not to believe that you're doing its breathing. In truth, you're, you can improve your physical fitness through breathing techniques. That leads in turn to improvement of your physique, your psyche, and your astral self. That's it for today. Here you go, stay up and listen in your academic performance. All right, oh my god, another tough lesson by that guy. The magic guy is so rough, holy shit. Hey, Mitsuru. There you are, I've been looking for you. All right, so it looks like Yukari and Mitsuru are gonna have some It's rare heart -to -heart. for you to miss a student council meeting. What's going on? Oh. I take it someone asked you to find me? It might actually be her transformation. Well, yeah, What's even though I'm not a member. Sorry about that. All right, so she missed a meeting, which is they seem very pretty weird. busy with the class trip and all. I I'm bet excited. you have your hands full since it's both for juniors and seniors. Huh, the class trip, huh? Is she still going? Even if I went, I'd only spoil the fun. It looks like she doesn't want to go. You're not thinking of skipping the trip, are you? <sighs> she is. Stop you her. You can't do that. Exactly. You know, I've been meaning to talk to you. Uh-oh, heart to heart. Is that so? To tell you the truth, you're not the easiest person to relate to. But okay, straightforward. I know what it's like to lose a father. Yes, yeah, she does. Talk about. I decided that, that I should be more upfront with you from now on. Oh. Hey, it's the 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 transfer oh, students. Is. Hey there, ladies. Hey there, ladies. Haha, <laughs> Ryoji. I've been looking everywhere for you. Fuck you, scarf guy. Ryoji kun. Why are you here? Exactly. Huh? Same as you. I was trying to find Mitsuru senpai. Why is he always like this? 
Some <laughs> girl I've never met before asked me to look for her. Some girl? Ufuka? What? I wasn't the only one she asked either. She said if we don't find her, the class trip might get canceled. What the hell? Who said that? Seems like the vice president has the whole school looking for you. Oh, her. Okay. But I'm the lucky one who found you, Mitsuru Kirijo. You're quite stunning, if I may say so. Oh, oh, Would you like smooth to go out words. Sometime? I know this one restaurant. It's on the top floor of a three-star hotel. The view at night is almost as breathtaking as you. Does that shit work? Fuck you, Ryoji. Uh huh. Senpai, you better get back to the meeting. <laughs> you better get back. I, I suppose so. I mean, I bet she feels a little bit better. Takeba, I guess, right? Thank you for your concern. For now, I will attend to my duties. Sounds like a plan. What about that dude? Hey, she didn't answer my question. For now, huh? I don't like the sound of that. What? Um, Yukari-san, how about you? Would you like to join me for dinner? Oh, plan B. I know this place on Shirakawa Boulevard. Uh-oh. Ha! No. <laughs> oh, Yukari. All right, class has ended for today. We can hang out with Yukari for the day, and it seems we're probably just gonna have like a a takoyaki day or something. But we're just gonna hang out a little bit and let's see what happens from there. Yep. So, uh, Palomino Mall Chuggle Cafe. You feel your relationship is growing stronger as you spend time with Yukari. It's getting dark out. You decide to go back to your dorm. All right. So we had a coffee date instead of the usual takoyaki, but. We are back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, I will join you at the Tartarus tonight. I apologize for worrying everybody. Our only priority now is to do something about the Tartarus. I will do my best. Well, the school trip is next week, so that should be fun. But unfortunately, Amada and Kowamaru will have to stay here. All right, so now that Mitsuru is back, we can actually go to the Tartarus and attempt to fight the floor 180 boss. But with that, guys, I will start the, ep the next episode with that. So thank you for watching. This is the end of this episode. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.